Yes guys, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon and we're back with another video on the channel uh, talking today about Zuba Mendy. Liverpool's midfield, does it need an extra reinforcement? Now, I am in the camp that it does, uh, but before we get any further into my opinion, I obviously want to hear yours. Uh, so feel free in your own time to get down in the comments what your thoughts are of any sort of Liverpool target that is raised, whether that be Shua Mane, a uh, former Liverpool target. It feels like we're linked FC at this rate. We're always linked with these players. They, they never usually end up coming to the club. Uh, but according to David Lynch, now this transfer, despite the fact it failed back in the summer, we know Liverpool are opting to sign him. The, the deal didn't quite materialise in the way that Liverpool were anticipating it might have done. And we ended up missing out on the Real Sociedad midfielder. He ended up prioritising the Spanish club. And uh, it meant that we had to sit out at a very vital position. If you want to look at the context of winning the league, winning trophies, you're going to need that solid um, metronomic player, as, as um, some journalists have la labelled him. Um, because that is the crucial position. You have a good midfield, you win the league. You have a good defence, you win the league. Uh, but m the majority of it, I think, comes down to the backbone of the team, how well the team uh, kind of gels together. And the number six position, uh, that holding midfielder role, uh, plays a substantial role in sort of moulding the pieces together. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, and Zubamendi would occupy that role. And I, I definitely believe that whilst the likes of Graven Birch and McAllister um, have been performing very, very well recently, um, you know, McAllister maybe not so much, but Graven Birch. Uh, definitely since the start of the season. Um, I still believe that we need that la uh, that holding midfielder and that is still a priority, I think. You know, yes, you can look at Endo, our reinforcement, but I think all Liverpool fans can really come to the conclusion that does Endo substantially have enough uh, minerals to, to play, um, you know, across a long season? Now, I know I can, I'm kind of contradicting myself because he hasn't really been involved in slots plans, but that's not to say that in December, in January, in February, when squads are a bit more stretched in regards to playing time. You know, we've had a, a, an international competition in the summer as well. You just don't know when that hangover could hit these players and uh, how crucial of a time in the season that could, you know, you, the implications of those games in the summer um, could be felt in January, February when, you know, <laughs> when there's games every three days. And we know in football, if you, if you hit a spell of bad form, two weeks it plays six games for example that is a lot of points that can be dropped there so football can change very quickly and that's why i'm certainly in the camp that liverpool are still a level away from really competing for the title of course we've done very very well at this moment and slots doing very well um with what he's got and liverpool have definitely got a lot of confidence and i know people say oh well look who you've played you haven't really played you know many high profile opposition I'm in the camp of you've got to play who's in front of you. The best team across the 38 games will obviously win the, the Premier League. And, I, and I'm certainly in the camp that if we can just hold out till January, monitor the situation. If we are to get Zuba Mendy, that would be a huge boost. Now, the, the situation around Zuba Mendy is that I don't think Liverpool um, are desperate to get him in January. Now, I think David Lynch, who talked in an exclusive with This Is Anfield, I believe it was, the source, um stated that Zuba Mendy, Liverpool would not look to pursue Zuba Mendy in January uh, unless, obviously, it put into doubt that Liverpool couldn't get him in the summer. So, for example, if Liverpool were guaranteed to sign him in the summer, in other words, if he committed his future to Liverpool following this season, then Liverpool wouldn't step up their interest to get him any earlier. So, you know, it kind of boils down to, um, you know, how... I suppose how confident slot is in the squad. You gotta ultimately, as a fan, you've got to put faith in the manager and what plans he has because ultimately he's the one that's seeing everything that's going on. He's analysing everything that's going on. As a fan, we can all hold an opinion, and my opinion is we still need a number six because I know for a fact, and uh, fans, you know, will know that if you neglect that position, you get one or two injuries in a vital position, and you start rotating a few things around, risking, you know, other players as well at the expense of that injury that's when you start to get a bit stretched and um, you know everything can kind of all come crashing down so don't want to get in that naive sort of mindset that that you know 
we're on to win the league now without a number six or without a clear-cut number six. Now, the differences between Zubamendi is, in comparison to the likes of Graham and Bertrand McAllister, Zubamendi is that player who sits slightly deeper. He is the one that is more metronomic, and he's been compared to the likes of Rodri, Ballon d'Or winner, uh, who was actually confirmed last week. And Luis de la Fuente, the Spanish head coach, has said that Zubamendi is the second best in the world at that position. Uh, behind, obviously, the compa his compatriot, Rodri. So that's very, very high praise from his national head coach there. Now, obviously, he's a coach that sees, uh, you know, monitors Zubamendi a lot more closely. Um, but it's definitely something to bear in mind. Now, I don't really know the price tag, but Liverpool, as what we know and what David Lynch has provided in this exclusive interview, is that Zubamendi is you know, that interest hasn't sort of deteriorated since that failed transfer. So Liverpool have not been put off in their pursuit to get Zubamendi uh, in the next, um, you know, in, in the next 12 months. So, you know, that when, when you bear that in mind, I definitely think that Liverpool should really be, you know, we know Liverpool are persistent with their transfer approach. We know that. We've seen that before. We've seen that in times where, you know, Liverpool, have, if they want a man, they will they will do what they can to get him. Uh, obviously, they have a ceiling, and if they bypass that ceiling, then they they start to like, you know, you know, leave the conversation. But we've seen it. Liverpool, they come out the shadows, and when they want their man, they usually get it. Um, maybe not of recent times, but previously, uh, you know, when you've seen the Diaz stuff, Liverpool have been on it. Come out, Diaz, get him. Thiago, two days, get him. Jota, the day after get him. Do you know what I mean? Like Liverpool are precise and clinical sometimes with just getting them transfers over the line. And they're usually the, the type of players, the names that just come out under the radar. And that's really what we've got to kind of take into account and take into close consideration. This is definitely something that Liverpool are 100% interested in Zuba Mendy. So it will be interesting to kind of monitor that development over the next, you know, few months, whether Liverpool kind of step up their pursuit in January, defend you know, to kind of secure his sign-in before, you know, any other clubs can get interested. Now, I think Manchester City could be interested in him. Arsenal could be interested in him as well. Um, so, you know, Zubamendi is attracting interest from high-profile clubs and you'd expect that. You'd expect that for a player who's received the plaudits that he has from his, you know, his head coach there uh, in the Spanish national team. So we'll just have to wait and see. It is one of them. Um and yeah, just let me know, why, guys, what would you say in regards to Zuma Mendy? What would you say in regards to Liverpool as a squad and as a collective? Uh, what areas do you believe that we need to strengthen? I know a few people were saying we need to strengthen in the left-back position. You're looking at Robertson's form, how it's deteriorated. We did a video on that the other day. Um, and how, you know, maybe that could step up Liverpool's interest in maybe a left-back replacement. Uh, I feel, still believe that the priority is in that midfield. And I believe that whilst Endo is a is a very, very good backup, I don't believe that he's a very, very good starter that can sustain that level that Endo has proven he can come in and do, by the way. I don't believe that though he can sustain that over, you know, big, big, you know, turnarounds. You know, he's getting on a bit now. You can't really rely on him to kind of turn over every three days and expect to produce a performance. Um you know, of a high quality and of a high calibre. So, look, that's my take on it. Uh, in other news, obviously, there is the David Coote thing. Now, again, we did another video earlier on in the week. I don't really want to go too much into it, but a second video has emerged uh, of David Coote um, taking what looks to be an illegal substance from uh, the table or from a chair or from, from a counter. Um, yeah, am I surprised? Pote yeah, a little bit. Um, but you know, yeah, crazy. Uh, you'd have to say and have to consider that his career as a Premier League manager is definitely going to come to an end after um this brief you know investigation because once they confirm that's him, if they confirm that's him, then it's curtains because I doubt that you know a, a Premier League referee of 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 a court like to referee so many games to be held to such a high regard and um, such high, you know, has to take full on accountability to keep the integrity of the sport intact. He just doesn't have the minerals to do that. So look guys, um, 
the perfect way to wrap up the video. Um, I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did find it um, good, if you did enjoy the content that you did see, please feel free to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. We're on 2.1K now, guys. So if we can just keep on growing, keep on moving forward, I'd really, really appreciate that. But um, honestly, um, more than um, happy to produce more content going forward and uh, really thankful that you've uh, tuned in and watched up until this point. So have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all very soon. Ta-da, God bless.